a handbag, the act of christening, and the imaginary character Bunbury are the standout symbols in the uproariously funny play, The Importance of Being Earnest. The handbag Miss Prism accidentally abandoned at the railway station years ago is the only physical symbol of the play, and it appears only at the very end. There is a long tradition in myths and fairy tales of babies who are meant for greatness who are intentionally abandoned. Some of these babies are even abandoned in containers that take on symbolic significance, like the biblical Moses in the basket. The handbag is a parody of this tradition. Baby Ernest is not abandoned because of a prophecy or because of some threat to his existence, but because his nurse, Miss Prism, is distracted. This handbag therefore parodies the importance or significance of one's circumstances. There's not an actual christening in this play. Instead, once the young women indicate how important the name Ernest is to them, christening is continually referenced, and it carries considerable symbolic weight as a rite important in Christianity. As children are named and baptized, they are welcomed as members of the Christian community. In this play, christening is part of the satire of social conventions. Algernon and Jack both plan to have themselves christened to rename themselves. Jack and Algernon's desire to be renamed has nothing to do with them joining a religious community, but with joining the social community of marriage. Through this symbol, the play mocks the practices of religious rituals by drawing parallels with romance-centered social rituals. Bunbury is Algernon's imaginary friend, referred to as an invalid, which is an outdated and inappropriate term today. Algernon uses Bunbury's illness as an excuse when he needs to get out of social obligations, and when he decides to visit Cecily, he tells Lane he's going out Bunburying. This device is parallel to Jack's use of the double identity of Jack and Ernest, which he uses to carve out blocks of free time from such obligations. Bunbury does not exist physically, but becomes a verbal symbol representing the act of telling small, useful lies as a way of navigating one's way through or out of social conventions. <laughs>